We are going into Prey on Terraces. Thank you guys for watching that break. It's map number two in this best of five semifinals. Spawning here in the top left side of the map as I fix the overlay. There we go. He's up 1-0 in the series. It looks really good, too. It's uh, Liquid Bunny and it's, uh, an SCV leaving the base quite early. Ooh. In the bottom right, as the Red Terran, it's Marine Lord. It's like one of the few brackets, by the way, where he's listed as Marine Lord because Olivia made it. Every other time he signs up, he's Moron Lord, so... Hype to the moly! Yeah, she's alright. It's not like she's uh, up at 7am, admining our bracket. Oh, 7am! <laughs> but she's been up for the last five hours. I love Olivia. So it's an hour worse than you. What? Because you start casting Home Strike Cup at 3 a.m., don't you? Isn't yes. that why you were like, oh, 7 a.m.? Yeah. Well, Olivia's been casting an hour earlier. No, no, she's not casting. She's, she's just oh. sitting there chilling. I think that's worse, actually. No, no I way. really feel for Olivia. If I could just sit there and chill out, yo, you can do whatever. But okay, this is actually really funny. Marine Lord hides a second. Uh, Barracks off to the side because he's gonna go Reapers. What's well, gonna be Marines versus Reapers? No, it's Reapers versus Reapers. It's Reapers versus Reapers, but Bunny's gonna have that production advantage. But the really awkward part is like Marine Lord cannot see that far down the cliff, and Bunny is obviously not gonna know that this is here either. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if the third racks could possibly be halted, but no, the Reapers gonna meet each other. Hmm, very interesting. You should just think that the third barracks would win out no problem, but hey, we, we, we never know and don't see this clash of builds too often. The Reaper is about to pop out and could possibly go right to the racks. Nope, goes the other way. <laughs> this is a little bit awkward. I mean, keep in mind, really still hasn't seen this problem. There it is. Uh, grenade is several different shades of awkward, Bunny should not chase into that, I think. He's gonna know though, right away, like, okay, it's two racks reaper versus three yeah. racks reaper. This is something that, as long as he doesn't lose one, like, he, keep in mind, like, he can't even afford to lose one reaper. This is why SCVs are pre-pulled out of Marine Lord. Now, normally you see about five pulled with this, but that's because it's one reaper versus two. With two reapers versus, like, five, you could potentially put a grenade there on the mid-ground, not even, like, the low ground or the high ground. But mm. also doesn't need to come up this path, and I think doing so has been a mistake. Wonderful grenade timing out of Marine Lord, but it's still a huge number of Reapers in the favor of Bunny. It does even up here, but production is still going to be on his side. It's Marines coming out next, but Bunny's biggest mistake was going up that cliff, I feel. Because you know what's actually really funny? He could have actually lifted one of the barracks for, for vision, just to be <laughs> ultra safe. He wouldn't even need the scan or anything. Yeah, that was a huge mess up. I mean, it was so predictable, too. Like, ah, uh, that was really quite terrible. And now it's still three percent at a time, and Reapers are, like, stupid sometimes when they get high numbers. But Marine Lord's starting to get ahead on that tech as well as the economy with the next command center finishing up. Reaper of Marine Lord gets into Bunny's mineral line, and this is awkward. It is, but he might have actually needed this at home. I'm not sure. We'll see how this, how this actually turns out. It's... Not often you see proxy three racks. And there we go, he's actually going to lift this up like predicted. Uh, this will actually give the Reapers the ability to throw grenades up on the high ground too. And not just Marines way deal with kind of damage. He's losing SCVs on the other side of the map still though. Whenever Marine Lord gets the chance to uh, micro, there you go. He loses one at a time. One Reaper did go back to deal with this. He will win the fight. Yep. Meanwhile, he's just missing auto attacks. Oh, Marines still just getting thrown around like ragdolls here by those grenades. Production from Marine Lord's not bad, but you know, he's finally going to get that Cyclone out. That, In most cases, actually, it might be a huge thing it said. Uh, in most cases, that's like, okay, no problem. But this is so many Reapers, it might actually be able to kill anything that comes out of that factory. Uh, the buddy making some mistakes here. He's going all in with these grenades now. If he throws one or two instead of all four, kind of guarantees he'll be up here longer and better. But if all four grenades do hit, it kills all the Marines. It's true. That is a lot of Reapers right now. Uh, they can't afford to lose one or two and still take... Oh, that was awkward. And still take on the Marines. Yeah, he's just going to auto-attack. There you go. Great. Cyclone on the way, but keep in mind, Cyclone only has 120 health, so Reapers with their damage can easily dish enough out to uh, to kill it. It'll kill one Reaper at a time, guaranteed, but it's the other five or four that he's going to have to worry about. It's starting to snowball a little bit. Grenades coming down to that <laughs> mineral line. SCV's popping over all over the place. Marine Lord finally going to pull everything into this. Bunny has killed a lot of workers at this point to get ahead in the series, and his command center is coming down on the low ground. So, even if this 
hitter's out. I mean, as long as he doesn't lose to a counterattack, he's so far ahead. He's got <laughs> 10 workers. I can't believe he got that huge lead at the very end of it, but now he can go back home, and as long as his... Well, this this barracks may not survive, but the other two barracks will, and that's still good production when they ever reach home. Well, these Reapers can also go check on that natural base and still deny for a little bit. Marine Lord's certainly going to be questioning what his position is in the game. Because he knows he got a couple of kills on the other side of the field. But the big thing was, he doesn't know that Bunny has a natural. So he... Uh, as far as he's concerned, this could be even footing, but really it's not. Mm. No, sir. Ah, oh, Mori was going to hang in, trying to get one or two more SCD kills. Don't really get it, even but just, keep the army back and scout of the drop. But even just like throwing a grenade in there, disrupting the mining, I mean, for somebody who's already on a very fragile economy, small things like that still help. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Other side of the, bat, the barracks are coming back home, but Bunny does have a cyclone of his own on the way, and that's one cyclone. I mean, if we can stress, sorry, two cyclones, if we can stress just how important these units are for defense normally, two cyclones are going to pick off this medevac, no problem. Yeah, it's going down very quickly, and at most he might be able to get away with a drop in the low ground if he's paying attention. Anyways, but there are the barracks coming back home. Uh, obviously, because they had to come back home and they had to rebuild barracks back, uh, back here, there's no tech lab, so he is getting farther and farther behind on that stim. Might even want to do two tech labs to get the combat shows a little bit quicker. Oh, Cyclones get the lock on on the medevac. It's going to go down. No guarantees that the other Cyclone has to fight him, but... Again, with low health pools, this actually doesn't work when you sit and fight like that. Cyclone gets the lock on, though, out of range of the other one. Viking for Cyclone, Cyclone for Viking. And it looks like Bunny is going to hold on to this and maintain his lead with 10 workers still up. Yeah. Marine Lair did dedicate to a third CC, though, so he should be producing three SCVs at a time soon enough. But this of course, is where that faster stands. If Bunny decides to play passive, and he scans to see what's going on, too. If Bunny decides to play passive... The Marine Lord catches up and even maybe pulls ahead. But if Bunny yeah. goes for the attack, the problem is with that CC and the 150 minerals he's going to be spending every round building SCVs, that's a lot of army supply he might be missing out on. Bunny goes for double engineering base and double tech labs. Oh, am I so really quiet? Shields. Not to me. Oh, chat saying Riffin got really quiet. Have I missed it? Okay. Maybe they mean in general. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to follow with it. We, we've had a good cast so far. And no real complaints, <laughs> so I'm not gonna start messing with settings this this far into it. Okay. Uh, Bunny's third CC is about done too, and Marine literally hasn't started to bridge that gap quite yet. Still down by ten. There's the combat shields finally starting for Bunny. Just had to wait for the gas, I suppose. As he did get two tech labs specifically to make sure he doesn't fall that far behind, because well, Stim was way far ahead for Marine Lord. I I do wonder, like, so Marine Lord, hmm. we talked about this earlier in the series with Major, and maybe it is simply a system where you do have to actually get a, a quote-unquote combo going in order to actually play mech, but Marine Lord really didn't show a lot of bio play. I do wonder, because we didn't get to cast it, what he played versus Semper earlier, but seeing bio once again, it's not insane, and it's not like, oh my god, I can't believe it, he's going bio, how crazy is that? But it is interesting, because he did play so much mech in the qualifiers. And without question, won those qualifiers. Yeah. Oh. Well, there is no question that he won the qualifiers, is there? Well, I guess maybe if you don't know who Marine Lord is, Marine Lord won the qualifiers. <laughs> okay. Uh, all the upgrades for Bunny are lining up pretty pretty sick here. One one stim and combat shields, and he does still have that economy lead with his command center also on the gold base. Not yet showing the army supply, but it will soon. He'll have a very good army. Ooh, okay, Cyclone's gonna go down. I mean, they really do have a time. I mean, it's, again, we talked a little bit about this, like units that have one role in the game for a very specific time, and Reapers in the early game, Cyclones in the early to mid game, and then they all start falling off very quickly, and just how easily Marines took out those, uh, those two Cyclones. You know, I gotta say though, for the way this has been going, especially with the money and the economy and what you would assume is production being better for Bunny, and production is, Objectively better for Bunny. It hasn't really kicked in yet. He still doesn't have a big supply lead. Right, yeah, it hasn't kicked in quite yet. But it, it should be soon. It's in the second factory. Bunny did like tanks versus... Everything? <laughs> Whoever it was that he faced in the last round. Journey. Journey. There you go. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't like his tanks have to save them. You know, it's weird. 
I didn't think this would happen. Like, usually we get a little bit like, okay, short term memory, no good when we cast things you know, in such large succession like this. But with so many TVTs, a lot of these games do start blending together. So I actually do not blame you for going like, uh, because <laughs> I I'm doing that. Really, I'm having a hard time remembering who played and who played mm -hmm. what. Well, looks like we might have a bit of a scuffle soon enough. Marine Lord pushing out. Does open them up for the drop in the natural once Bunny notices they're moving. There you go. Let's go down right away. Four or so. Not too bad. Yeah, he was already down in SCVs. This goes to uh, further pushes Bunny ahead at 42 SCVs. Mm. Oh, oh, that, hmm. that pick up, though. Yeah, it didn't seem. There'd be a reason is to go that direction, but he did. Well, back at home for Bunny, the supply lead is still not happening. Like, this is really making me, like, draw all these question marks. I don't know if it's because he's giving a little bit away. I mean, his, his work account's been so high. His income's been so good. I would really expect him to be, like, at 90 or 100 supply, whereas Marine Lord's sitting on, like, 85. But no, Bunny's barely matching Marine Lord. It is very odd to see that the production has equal, uh, been equal for so long despite Bunny's early SCV lead. Um, but it really is, it's still going towards the like The late game should be better for Bunny. Now he has dropped the tanks in front of the Marines, which is not what you want to do. So he loses out on that side wow, and he loses out general on the fight. And he just threw away what would have been a definite lead. This might just be the game too if he's not careful. This is starting to snowball. A lot of these Marines are getting low though. Lots of executions going off in the gold base. SCV's being pulled away and the command center lifted, but he's going to have to turn around to repair it. Going to lose the command center entirely. Oh no. I feel like, you know, TBT, they're, they're using their tanks as if they were imme immediate shots before the nerf. And it's really frustrating to see that. Like, before the nerf, if they shot instantly, putting them right in the face of the Marines is a great idea. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But now that they have a delay, it's a terrible idea. Well, this, this medevac uh, heal squad going on here just can't be competed with production, can't tear down these Marines. Uh, Bunny must have known that he, uh, well, I don't know. GG. He had such a lead, he was going to benefit it at some point, but he took an absolutely terrible engagement. So I, I really am wondering, like, first off, thank you, Peric, for subbing during that game. Uh, I don't want to ignore that. I, I'm wondering, though, like, were, did Bunny get, like, supply blocked a couple of times? We didn't catch it. Like, his, he had three more barracks over Marine Lord for a long time. Why didn't that economy, that, that worker lead and the production lead to him having a superior army? Like, that's something where maybe we overlooked it because we were looking at Marine Lord so much. And, I mean, congratulations to Marine Lord coming back from a terrible situation. But I'm just really more curious as what happened to Bunny in that game. Like, or what happened with Bunny in that game. I don't know, man. Either way.